Hello for another Teaching Tuesday. I am Bo. I'm back. I want to talk today about spiritual guides. First off, what are they? <laughs> spiritual guides are uh, beings that watch over us and support us. They might not be people that we knew in this lifetime, but they're most certainly and most oftenly part of our soul group on the other side. They can be people that we knew here on earth who have passed and are now watching over us. We all know like that grandma or, <laughs> you know, that great aunt that watches over us and guides us, but they can also be um, individuals on the other side who really are just helping us on our journey, guiding us through our path, giving us the signs that we need, giving us the information, helping us to connect with the right people at the right time. When I was uh, first opening up years ago, my guide told me a really great story which really explained it to me. He said, a person can walk through you know, a forest blindfolded and they're gonna bump into tree and tree and tree, but it's the guide's job to help remove the blindfold or and and or guide somebody through the forest. So our spiritual guides literally watch over us. They take care of us. You, I get the biggest message I want to give you today is you have a team. You are loved. You have support. You have people that are watching over you and caring about you. Now, another common question I get about guides is how many do we have? <laughs> My answer is it varies. Sometimes we have one guide that's working with us pretty closely. Sometimes we have two or three. Guides are gonna come and go for different reasons. Sometimes you'll have a teaching guide that will be uh, opening you up to new information that you need. Sometimes we'll have a guide that comes in during a particular part of our life. Perhaps it's uh, empty nest or moving into a new home, starting a new job. And a guide will come in and they'll be with you for a period of time because they have the energy, they have the knowledge, and they have the experience. They also have the overview of your path and your life so that they can guide you um, and give you signs and give you symbols on you know, where to go, who to meet. Oh, I really should do this, I really should do that. Now the guide information typically doesn't come through consciously for a lot of people. Some people have really great guide communication and I know a lot of people really wanna open up to it. My advice for you on this one, and I'll leave you with this because this is the one tool that has helped the majority of my students over the years. My one piece of advice would be communicate with them daily. Even if it's a one-sided communication to say, hey, good morning, it's me, I know you're with me. I just wanna let you know I'm gonna go into work today. I've got this going on, that going on. I'm gonna stay open to signs. Just communicate with them. In order to have really good guide communication, it's a team mentality. It's a team mentality of like, okay, I'm gonna be on the team with my guides for my highest good. One thing guides are not real <laughs> big on is giving you all the answers to the universe. They're much more fond of being on a team with you. They have the higher perspective of your life and where you wanna go, what you're trying to manifest, the abundance that you're trying to bring in. And it's their job to give you the signs, the gentle nudges, uh, whether that's to go or to pause. And their focus is on your well being. So if you step into the team with that mentality of like, okay, what is it you want me to know today? Uh, what guidance do you have for me? Do that daily. Five minutes is all it takes to say, hey, I'm committed. I'm a part of this team. I acknowledge that you're with me, loving me, watching over me. And the guy communication might start to open. Lastly, I will tell you this. Stay open to any way that it comes through. It could be a sound or a sign or a symbol or uh, you might get a vision or you might see something or you might feel something. We all have that gut instinct when we're gonna go somewhere and our gut goes, mm, you probably shouldn't go there. I'm not feeling it. You know, that, that just, I feel like this is not right. Sometimes that's our guides helping us to have that feeling to say, mm, that's not the direction, go there. So a little acknowledgement, knowing that they're there, being committed and having that team mentality with them, that will start opening up your guide communication.